click on Content, and in this video, we're going to add our first event. Click Add Content, and choose Events. So we're going to set up a fictitious event and demonstrate a couple of things that we've set up. So for the event name, let's call it Drupal Camp Cincinnati. I live just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio, so that makes sense. This is the first Drupal Camp in the Southern Ohio region. Now I will say this, there's an amazing Drupal Camp in Ohio called Drupal Camp Ohio. It's up in Columbus every October, November. It's a great event. If you live in the Ohio area, I'd recommend it. Now one of the things to remember here, we've turned on version control, so we'll look at that in just a minute. But because we've set this up, we really don't have to do anything over here on the right hand side. It's already what we want. We don't have a logo for now. We'll leave that blank. But we do have an event website. And for this one, we'll just say Drupal Camp Cincinnati. It doesn't exist. And that's OK. In the link text, we could leave this blank. And the display would just be the actual URL. So we'll do that for now. And in the event date, if we click in there, a little pop-up calendar comes up. And let's move that to January the 11th, 2016. Now, we can't actually add any event sponsors yet because we don't have any user groups set up. Another feature here in Drupal that will be very helpful is inline entity reference that allows you to add user groups, in this case, on the fly. When we don't have that installed, we'll have to come back to this one. Now, we do have some event topics. So let's go ahead and type an I and select Introduction to Drupal. Let's add another item. And this time, type an M. And you'll notice that all of the topics that have an M in it will show up. So let's use Module Development. And we could choose other topics if we wanted. Click Save and Publish. And here's our Drupal Camp Cincinnati node, the title, the body, the event website, which is automatically a link. Again, that doesn't really exist. The event date. Again, we could change this format. The event topics are there. And again, because this is a taxonomy, every single event that's been tagged with Introduction to Drupal would be available if we clicked on that link. And they would be listed in publication date order. Congratulations. You've just created your very first event node. Go ahead and click on Shortcuts and add content. And this time, let's add our user group. We'll call this the Cincinnati user group. This is the user group from the southern Ohio region based in Cincinnati. We meet on the third Thursday of every month. Of course, we could offer more information there. The URL for this user group is https colon slash slash groups.drupal.org slash Cincinnati. Now, that doesn't actually exist again. There is no current user group in Cincinnati. But this is usually how they would appear. And of course, you can find a user group in your area by coming to groups.drupal.org and doing a quick search based on whatever you might be interested in. There are user groups literally around the world. We'll talk more about that at the end of the class. The group contact, let's just say it's Drupal space group. I know that's not a real first name. And then the contact email is Drupal group at email.com. Now, this doesn't have to be a real email address, but it does have to be a properly formatted email address. Otherwise, Drupal will reject it. On the group level, you can choose multiple levels here. And then on the event sponsored, now that we have an event in there, if you just type in a D, you can choose Drupal Camp Cincinnati. And again, if they sponsor other events like a Drupal Con or something, you can add them in there. Click Save and Publish. Congratulations, you've just created your first user group. Now, I recognize these fields are a little bit messy. 
We're going to clean those up in another video in just a little bit.